My people, no be smart, you know. One day shall never end, my people. Pastor Kumu, you don't come outside, though. Pastor Kumu, you don't come outside to come talk. Many things full grand, my people. Because many people, they talk, say, this talk, when we say, Pastor Kumu, you talk, say, if they use to start to shade Tinubu, say, now Tinubu, now they talk to. Because he knows, say, Tinubu, now in the position right now. Now, Pastor Kumu, you they let us to understand, say, only leader with good intentions can deliver Nigeria from economic challenges. My people, hmm. A lot of people now don't time this matter. They talk, say, waiting Pastor Kumu, you mean, say, holy leader with good intentions can deliver Nigeria from economic challenges. Now, you come and say, this economic, where we say, the hardship, where we say, the Nigerian uh, cities in the past two right now. It means, say, now because of, say, they don't get good leader with intention, because many people, they talk, say, who be the leader? Who be the organ matter for now? Now, it be Tinubu. That means, Kumu, you know what call name, but if they use to start to send the message, the talk say, even if the government have to make decision, it say me they see the tick one thing say, now people put them for that position. Because Nigerian citizens, may they not give up. He say one day, God go help us collect this country from the bad people and from the bad government and so right now, Kumu he they let us understand, say, only leader with good intention. My profit deliver Nigeria. So right now, people they pass through hardship. It means say Tinubu no can get the good intention. I've been awaiting the uh, Pastor Kumu they try to talk because people because people talk say this message now for Tinubu no be for any anybody. Say this uh, this message now for Tinubu. My people not be smart, you know, because a lot of people now don't start to declare Pastor Kumu they talk say Pastor Kumu. This message where they talk to, why you not just break the table leg? Why you not just call the name direct? Why you just they try to pass through the corner where we say you see road, you decided to they follow another way. So people they really they talk say, Pastor Kumuyi, if you want talk, just no make, make you just let us understand. Say, see who you they talk to because right now, person way they rule right now, might be Ogatinubu. So right now, a lot of people will be saying they even vote for the Tinubu said. Many people they complain because of this uh fuel matter, because of the things will be saying they don't say fuel, the fuel price of food don't go up. So pastors say they don't they talk because say the thing don't they reach their side. That is why they, they used to start they tell their people say they used to start to send the message as if say that they talk to their church members, say only leader with good intentions, nine go feed deliver. Nigeria from this economic and hardship time because the one way we say they day right now that means say they never see get better better leader for your own side though because the hardship now it don't reach everywhere my people majorly is to listen to um, the presentations that it's coming from the from the secretariat of the steering committee so they have made presentation to us and uh, we made our robust input uh, into it. Um, um, some of the things they presented, we, we did not agree with them. So the areas we did not agree, we also made our input known. Uh, because uh, when you come to such meeting, it's for um, government or its representative to, to do a presentation. But it's left for us to either agree or disagree. So during the meeting, we gave them sufficient feedback. And they also agreed to go and look at those feedbacks and get back to us on Friday. Hey, can we know some of the areas that you people disagree with government? I know we are still discussing. I don't think it is it is quite uh, good for us to be uh, discussing this those particular subject now. More so because they told us that they will come back to us by Friday, and Friday is uh, is just about forty eight hours away. So it is better we hold on, we wait till Friday for them to give us a feedback. Then we can go into the nitty gritty. In summary, what really do you want government to do? Yeah, what we want government to do is to address the plight of Nigerians. Nigerians are suffering, just as we said in our press conference a few days ago, that Nigerians are suffering, that things are hard, that things are difficult. And because things are difficult today in Nigeria, you must roll out programs uh, to ameliorate this suffering. Because at the end of the day, it is about Nigerians. Uh, because government exists in order to take care of the, the downtrodden majorly. So, all we are saying is that government must, as a matter of urgency, 
because we don't have, we don't have that time anymore. So as a matter of urgency, must roll out you know um, various programs that we create alternative to PMS and also palliatives. So these are the two focus: alternative to PMS that is about the CNG and also the palliatives that must be brought out to ameliorate the sufferings that Nigerians are passing through. Are you giving government timeline? Ah, we said we are meeting again on Friday. So when we meet on Friday, we will hear from them. We can meet them on Friday. They can tell us that by Monday morning, they will start rolling them out. Yeah, so we meet on Friday. We've had very productive meetings um, this afternoon. Um, this is the Presidential Council on Subsidy Removal. Um, it was chaired um, by um, some, you know, it's a, it, it involves labor and some parts of government, a steering committee. It's a, it's, a, it's a wide group of people, a wide group of stakeholders representing the interests of Nigerians. Um, and we, we've agreed to continue to make progress. It was a very productive meeting. Um, the focus was really around how we fast track a lot of the interventions that will bring relief. Um, particularly around CNG mass transportation, cleaner energy transportation, and reduce the impact of uh, the cost of transportation, the increased cost of transportation. So we've made good progress, um, and we're going to continue to do so, and, and so that we can start rolling out these um, opportunities and this uh, relief and measures as quickly as possible. How we know the level of progress we've achieved? Quite a bit. <laughs> Quite a bit. Quite productive. Quite a bit. Quite productive today. Quite productive. The labor unions will, will speak to that, but I mean, we, we are making progress. We're, we're trying to address the issues that will prevent a strike. So that is essentially, and that's why I feel like we made very, we made good progress today, and we'll continue to do so. Why is it taking government so long to roll out some of the highlights to see the promised Nigerians? Hmm? We have to get it right. It's important that we we do this well, uh, and that we don't we keep our promises. Um, so it's important that whatever is announced actually gets done, um, because it's important. Not only we don't want to make big announcements that don't that and you know continue to um, lose uh, people's trust. It's important that we build trust, and that most of the announcements and the plans that we roll out are credible and impactful. Many Nigerians are suffering. How long will it take to roll out this? Pres President Ahmed Bola, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is working assiduously to address all of these issues um, and as quickly as he can. He's very empath empathetic. He's concerned about it. As you've seen, all of us working around the clock here um, to make sure that we are able to announce these uh, measures as quickly as possible. Okay. It's a whole package of issues that we're, that we're rolling out as quickly as possible. Well, the outcome is very brief. We met based on a 520 increase, and the committee that was set based that was set based on that, and we agreed to to work to realize the objectives that was set during that moment. Yeah, Nigerians are very worried that government made promise to you know, workers to provide palliatives, <coughs> but has taken a long time. What is the position of uh, the labor unions on this? The various, uh, the two centers have made their position known, and is before Nigerians. The TUC, the NLC, our position is known, and is public knowledge. Are you going ahead with the threat to go on strike? on August 2, if federal government doesn't reverse anti-policies? Uh, well, policies. I wouldn't know we are going ahead with the protest, because that's what we, we have to be emphatic on what we uh, put in our communique. We say we are commencing protest from the second. Uh, you said you're not satisfied with our outcome today. This meeting has no relationship with the Remember, and I want you to be careful about it. There is a 200, there is 520 increment, which gave back to this meeting. Nobody is discussing about the 617 as at now, and this meeting didn't have the competence to address that. Is that clear? So there are two issues. My people, now the video now on a new watch for me. So on a see what you put for inside the video. All right, my people. I would like to end the video for you. Make gonna let me know waiting on a thing for the comment section. 
And if you never subscribe, make you subscribe so that you don't miss any latest gist way at the upload. Now, bye bye till I come on away next time. Bye guys, catch you in the next video. Bye guys.